Welcome again. Today we're going to be doing multiplying tenths and hundreds. Now today I'm going to be doing the simple method of multiplying tenths and hundreds. I'll show in another lesson the more complicated way, but we like to make things simple in life, don't we? So, right here, our very first question, we have 9.5 times 8. Now in the simple method, this decimal right here, it shouldn't be very, very scary. In fact, in the simple method, what you're going to do with this decimal is you're actually just going to ignore it. So pretend you're just going to ignore it, and you have 95 times 8 instead. We're just going to put that in our head. So we're going to think like this in a nice cloud. Oh, we're really doing 95 times 8. Okay? So we're ignoring that decimal right off the bat, all right? So, now doing the expanded form way, if we were to expand this number in expanded form as 95 times 8, we're actually going to think of it as 90 plus 5. So in the simple way of multiplying the tenths, we are going to do it the long way because this is the foolproof proof plan. So, we're going to do 8 times 5 always starting going up first. Okay, so right over here we have our 8 and we're multiplying by 5. So we're always using the bottom number here as our multiple going up. And we're just going to do this multiplication right away. So what's 8 times 5? It is 40. Now remember, we're ignoring this decimal. It doesn't exist. We're doing 95 times 8. That's what we're doing in our head. So below we're going to do, again, another equal sign. So what's going to be below that? We're going to go across. We're going to do 8 times 90 in our head. Remember, that's not a 9 right now. It's 90. So we have our 8 and we're multiplying it by 90. And as again, we have our 0 here. So 8 times 0 is 0. We could just start that right away. And now we do 8 times 9. And that's 72. And we put that together. Now we're going to add it all together. So we have 40 plus 720. And we'll get our 0, our 6, and our 7. And our answer is going to be 760. Now, you were told to ignore this decimal. Now it's time to unignore it. Now, in order to do a decimal, it's so simple in order to figure out this answer. Now that we're going to pay attention to this decimal, we're going to count how many numbers are behind this decimal. How many are there right now? There's one. So if we take a look here, there's only one number behind the decimal, and it's the 5. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the 760, you're going to work from the back to the right and you're going to move your decimal one place. You're going to have one decimal, one number behind your decimal right there. So our answer is going to be 76 as opposed to 760. If you write down 760, you're going to have a wrong answer because remember the question actually is 9.5 times 8 and not 95 times 8. Okay? simple method so far. So we're going to move over to our next question which is now multiplying in our hundredths. We have the question 8.38 times 6. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to pretend that this number in our head is not 8.38 but in fact is 838 times 6. So we're going to do the exact same method as if it was a whole number. So where do we begin? We start by in the ones column. So we do 8 times 6, moving up first all the time, always with the ones column. So here we go. We have our 6, and we're multiplying that by 8. And 6 times 8 is 40. Now we got to deal with the second number. So we're going across now, 6 times 30. We have our 6 there. 
and we multiply by 30. So 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 3 is 18. Now we have one more step since there are three numbers in here. Just as like as, as if it was a three digit by one digit, we're going to multiply the six once again going over to the eight. And we have our third step in our multiplication. We're multiplying our six again. And this time we're going to do it by 800. Just like we were doing in our expanded form. So 800 plus 30 plus 8 equals 838 in our minds up here. We see that there's two zeros, so we're going to add our two zeros because 6 times 0 and 6 times 0 is 0. And now we're going to do 6 times 8 again. And our answer is 48 here. Now, just like multiplying with tenths, we have a larger addition problem, but not too difficult, once again, because we have this 8, and it's coming all the way down zeros. So we place the 8. Now we have 4 plus 8. And that's 12, and just like every other addition, we could carry over the 1. We have our 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10. We're going to carry the 1 over, and then we have a 5. Okay, we have an answer of 5,028. Now, in the last question, if you remember, 9.5 times 8, we were counting how many decimals there are here. Once again, we have to come back to reality. We cannot go back to our 839, but we have to go with 8.38. And once again, we're just going to count how many decimals are behind the decimal. And if we count them, the 3 is 1, and the 8 is the second one. So we have 2. We have 8.38. So all you simply have to do is, with your answer, is do the same thing as this. If you have two decimals behind in your question, you're going to have two decimals behind in your answer. So you place your decimal where you have two behind. So you get an answer of 50.28.